Welcome back. In this video, I'll teach you everything that you need to know about the polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. This condition is very important and you will see it everywhere. This condition is especially interesting as it is caused by a specific mutation that affects calcium release and the ranidine receptors. It is inherited, so we expect to see it in multiple family members. In the ECG, you will see that the QRS complexes are not all the same. This is where the word polymorphic comes from. So you will have different shapes of each ECG pattern. Each QRS complex have the potential to look different from the one previous and after it. And this can quickly develop into ventricular fibrillation. So early recognition is very important. The most common causes are cardiac ischemia and of course the inherited condition that we spoke about. Expect the patient to have arrhythmias, which is evident by syncope or palpitation. And these often occur when the patient just does something that increases the heart rate, like exercise or undergoing some emotional distress. So while the arrhythmia occurs all the time, it will be most prominent when something stresses the body and increases the heart rate. Whenever you see this pattern, think in your mind that this patient might be undergoing ventricular fibrillation at any moment. And if VFib does develop, you should defibrillate the patient immediately. Our ECG course contains all the changes that can occur in an ECG, and it helps you become an ECG expert, so that you can recognize any ECG that you might come across. The course contains everything that might affect an ECG, all the symptoms, the causes, and of course the treatments. It also has plenty of quizzes to test your knowledge and make sure that you cement these informations and be able to answer any question about an ECG. You can access the course using the link in the description or in the pinned comment.